just a little pop. We love that. What's up guys? For those of you who don't know, my name is Hunter. It's been a while. My life has been crazy lately. I've gone through a lot of changes. And first and foremost, for those of you who have watched any of my old videos or have watched me for a while, watched me regularly, I'm in a different space. I am now in a studio apartment living by myself. I will not go into details about why that is or what brought me here, but what I will say is I am in a very cool place now. I have been going through things like a job change, a living situation change, a lot of life changes, and so YouTube unfortunately has been put on the back burner of things that I can prioritize and spend my time doing. However, I am now at a point where I have the time and everything is kind of laid out and organized to where I can start focusing again on social media. I haven't been posting really that much on Instagram. I haven't made short videos. I haven't hung out with any of my photography friends or anybody that I make content with. It's honestly been a pretty um, creatively dry time. But again, I'm here, I'm happy, all is well. A lot has changed, point is. So, with that rant out of the way, today my buddy Matty is coming over. He is a photographer friend of mine, a phenomenal Photoshop editor. He is a streamer. He is a business partner. We'll get into that later. But today, I really wanted to do a little photography um, flat lay type of photography. So today, the second part of this video is going to be me and Maddie doing flat lay photography. But yeah, anyway. So we're trying to set up like a flat lay on this fake wooden table that I have. This is underexposed. So currently I'm just, we're just trying to figure out what, how this is gonna look cool. Um, don't want any Folgers? What are you, a 40 year old man? <laughs> no, I didn't want to get this because I also feel wrong putting this on a pour over. Yeah, that feels, that feels, um, feels like I, but, if I was doing this, I would not be recording myself. So the main goal of this is to do like the flat lays straight down and set up the scene, but I also want to get some macro stuff. Okay. So um, while we're waiting for the actual coffee to fully drip through, I'm gonna do what you said and put the knife in here and do like okay. macro of that in there. Don't mind us as we just pour coffee all over his table on the table. What the hell murder yeah, so this? while we're waiting for the for coffee ants? to get ready, I'm gonna use the Sony 90 millimeter macro and um, the A7 III to shoot just some detail shots of the knife in coffee grounds. And I'm using a Godox 8200 for the flash in a Godox, uh, some kind of like 120 centimeter soft box. It doesn't look so. like you have an SD card in this. Not enough leather. Dialing, I hate manual, dude. Or manual focus. Okay, there we go, look at that. So now, coffee should be made, so let's do, let's. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, I, I haven't really said much in this, but now we have this scene set up on the table. We have uh, a $5 bill, a knife, some coffee on the table um, with the coffee set up back here, and just some leather items placed out to get that vibe, and we're just kind of shooting around, so not much to do or to say here, but. Yeah.
the part of the video where Matt busted out the pink and the blues. Yeah, Matt's busting out his pink and blue lights. <laughs> we got two Godox, we got a TL60 and a something else, I forget what they are, but two Godox LED lights and we're gonna take the flash out for a minute. And for the first time ever, we're gonna use some spray atmosphere. I've never used this before, so I don't think you're supposed to use it indoors, but I'm here for it, so. We're gonna leave. video kind of ended on a drastic cut. I didn't do a lot of speaking in the video. Me and Matt were just kind of trying to knock out some flat lay product stuff. I didn't really explain a ton of what I was doing. So just really quick, I recently got this new uh, knife, this Benchmade bug out, was really hyped on it. Um, thought it was a super cool product uh, visually. And so I wanted to try something new out in terms of with photography. And so I called my buddy Matt over and we decided to do some, some flat lay shots and I wanted to do some macro shots. And again, the video didn't have a lot of structure, but we were just kind of getting B-roll and thought I would put it into this video. So really quick, I kind of wanted to go over those shots with you. So I pulled them up on Lightroom here, thought we could run through them and I can show you all my favorites from what we got. So let's uh, jump on the computer and do that. All right, so as I jump into Lightroom here, this first shot that I have is uh, the one that I actually used and I'll tag my Instagram down below. This is the one I used for the first photo in um, my carousel. This was my favorite overall, just in terms of every aspect of it. So I did some macro, like I said, I did some flat lay and then just some shots here and there. But um, this shot right here was my absolute favorite. Just, I thought that all the aspects were there, the lighting looked good. And to me, it's something I would see. And this is also, could just be because it's my photography and I like it. Um, but this is something that I, if I were to see on, let's say Benchmade's website for this knife, I wouldn't second guess. I'd be like, oh yeah, that looks like an awesome product shot. So there's that one. Um, now at the beginning of us shooting, when we were shooting the macro into the coffee container, this is my favorite shot from that. So there's the original, just some minor adjustments and you can kind of see the red of the coffee container back there. But that is with the Sony 90 millimeter macro right on the logo. I think that one looked really good. Then here are just a few more. This one was a little bit more of a side profile of it laying down. Um, still a really cool shot though. Like I said, there was my favorite. This one is like the side profile, but a little bit backed up on the knife. Also a good one, I believe this was in my carousel as well. Then if you saw towards the end of us shooting, Matt was shooting and I was holding the knife um, in a few different positions. And these are the two selects that we got from that. This one of me closing it, and then this one of me holding the knife closed. Thought those looked really cool uh, in my opinion. This right here, uh, I got the knife to stand up, and now that one's actually a little bit dark, but we're not really in an editing session right now. Uh, also, it's already posted, but that was another cool one. And this last one right here is one um, that is actually supposed to be that way. However, this is when we brought the flash out and brought in the colored RGB lights, um, which Maddie really wanted to do, and he's really good at that. This is a shot that I thought was really good from in terms of the, mi the mixing of the light. However, um, if you wanna see better versions of the ones with the LED lights, I'll tag Maddie's Instagram. I don't think that he posted them, but I would like for him to, because they looked really good. We will get some of those up as well with these lights. But anyway, yeah, these are my selects. I'm gonna go back. This is my, my all-time favorite. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There wasn't a lot of really explanation. If you guys want a little bit more of an in-depth explanation of how we did these shots and the setup, then I can do that as well. But for now, this will be it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said at the beginning, this is my new space and I hope that it kind of helps me create more content. I have more angles that I can shoot from. As you can see, I'm shooting here. Not very good right now. I gotta light the background, but I was really just kind of adding on to the video. But anyway, hopefully I'm back for good this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like down below. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Comment and tell me what you really hated or what you really liked. And I will see you in the next one.